My name is Brian and I'm a person in long-term recovery. I have meaningful relationships. I have people that legitimately care about me. Um, when you're in that lifestyle, it's what can you, you know, everything for me, none for you. What can you do for me with me doing as little as possible for you? Now I get to be of service. And then I get the grace of people being of service to me when I really need it. I have value. I have impact in people's lives. It's hope. That's, that's what makes everything worth it. I have the opportunity to bring hope and to support others and help them gain what I've achieved or even more. Early recovery for me was a real challenge. Um, there was a lot of fear. Uh, there was a lot of pain. There was a lot of confusion. There was a lot of regret. I think when all of that really started to dissipate is when I saw my daughter for the first time. And to be able to take her for a week, for her to be able to trust me. The one word I would say is relief. That experience is what made me realize this could really work. Hope is the last thing we lose in addiction. It's the first thing we get back in recovery. And that's something I get to share every single day with every person I meet. Um, number two, I've got my self-respect. Everywhere I go, everywhere I've been for the last five years, I can look myself in the mirror and become increasingly comfortable with the man that I see. We are powerless over certain things in our addiction. We are powerless over our feelings. We are powerless over how, what our, how our disease makes us feel, but we are not powerless over what we do about it.